back everybody, this is uh, part two, yep. Tuesday uh, 24th June 2008, uh, welcome to the Nuts TV. <clears throat> um, we're now going to talk about uh, WSOP, uh, it's been a week since uh, we did our news, so there's been a lot this going on. certainly has, we are now, if I just have a look, we're on to event number 43, mm-hmm. and at this moment in time they've got uh, four events running. Uh, 43. The seniors is on at the moment, this moment in time. This lad's played the seniors in 2005. I did. I, Near- did. I, I, I just fired a wee post up in the forum just was, telling my story. It was bubble, what bubble. happened. Uh, it was, uh, and I don't normally get into the bubble. I'm a very good bubble player, let me tell you. Mm. But, uh, well, when you entered. There's a guy who made a call that. Uh, yeah, when I, you in 2005. Uh, when I entered in 2005, there was 863 runners, mm. which I thought was an absolutely massive field. I didn't know there was that many blokes over the age of 50 playing poker. <laughs> but this year, how many have we had? 2,218, including Dave Collins. Yes. Team Dog, Team Dog played. Uh, played it. I've, uh, if you read his blog on the forum, it's, a, it's an excellent blog. Fabulous. I think he's been busted out. Uh, but, you know, 2,200 and odd runners. Mm. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. The numbers have been uh, uh, very, very impressive. Uh, what impact and effect it's going to have on the main event? Mm. Who knows? Five thousand six hundred not last year, so you know mm. you're looking at six thousand over under. Well, the latest winners. If you watch CCTV, is reporting on the World yep. Series as always. Fantastic job by James. Picture of this guy who we managed to interview in. We Manila. did. We <laughs> interviewed Lane Flack, uh, the big fella here. I uh, got the opportunity to talk to Lane yeah. uh, at the Asian Poker Tour in Manila. A racking lad, I have to tell you. Uh, I had a couple of drinks with him at the bar one night, and he's a very entertaining character, a very unique character, I may add. But uh, cracking lad to talk to. And he's won an event. He's won a bracelet. He's now got six. Yes. Up his absolutely arm. fabulous. Mm-hmm. So well done to Lane. What did he win? He won the uh, 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 1500 Pot Limit Omaha Rebuy. Uh, Rebuy. There was a little thing posted uh, earlier in the t- uh, event that he actually had 28 rebuys. Yes. Which amounted to $42,000, but he ended up winning $577,000, which compensates a little. Only a little. For the yes. 28 B yes. buys that he did have. Brilliant. So, uh, well, so well, well done, done to Big Flap. Yeah. Uh, great to see. Mike, Who else have we had? We've had Mike Rocco winning the seven card stud. Yep. We've got Jesper Hugard. Oh, yeah. Who has won the. Uh, the event's three hundred and eighty-nine thousand dollars. He actually won uh, the fifteen hundred no limit. Right, David Benjamin. Yes, won the world championship ten thousand no Omaha high well low. Well apparently, I've not seen the final table, but apparently it was the who's who of poker was on it? the final table. Five hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. So yet another full tilt pro, David Benjamin, really? winning a bracelet. Really? And the latest one at the moment is David Kaitai. Who has just won uh, the 2000 pot limit hold and freeze out, which apparently the heads up lasted around about 24 hours. But it didn't, but it seemed, it seemed to right. last that long. Right. Uh, every what did he win? He managed to rake about 247. 244. Yeah, 244. Uh, apparently the longest heads up at the championship so yeah. far. Right. So, uh, But still, five events going on so far, which is getting close to the World Series main event. It Have is. you decided yet whether you're going to? No. <laughs> Oh, no. not Funnily enough, I looked at flights this morning just um, because basically what uh, what's happening is we've got the Virgin Festival this weekend, mm-hmm. uh, 28th and 29th. So that finishes on Sunday. So I'll probably get back sometime late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Um, and the main event starts on Thursday. However, there mm-hmm. are four starting days. So although it starts on Thursday, I could enter Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Mm. Can you put your day then? Yes. Are you allowed? Yes. How good is that? Uh, it's pretty good. From from my point of view, it's Yeah, pretty exactly. Good. Because I can then maybe take a couple of days, just try and clear my desk. Uh, yes. Um, I keep trying. I, I was hoping to go to bloody Bristol, but uh, unfortunately <laughs> I didn't make it. But I'm going to go to Liverpool. And that's definite. I'm going to Liverpool to play the GCPPT event. Yeah. Right? Double bubbles going as well, mm-hmm. um, and that's a story we'll tell you another day. So news on this guy, whether he's going to uh, Las Vegas or not, it's probably on Tuesday. I will make a decision. If he's sat there, 
He means he ain't no, I, going. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm not going. He's not going. No, I might fly out Wednesday and or Thursday. And play Saturday or Sunday. And play Saturday or Sunday. Excellent. Yeah. Keep you updated. So, yeah. we'll, we'll let you know. So watch the thread on we the are. forum. CCTV doing a fantastic yeah. job. As right, well. let's... We're waffling again. Than it. Than it. That's Most people in the country do not know where Than it where is. is it? Well, let me tell you, it's in Kent and it is in Ramsgate. And oh, it right. is commonly known as a Rammers. 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 Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. The locals call it Rammers. Right. Not Fanny. No, no, they call it, if you're playing poker in a casino, in a grown casino, you are going to Rammers. Okay. Anyway, that's something I know. Yes. But they so, are having a mini festival. Yes. Uh, which they've sent us details through, so well, we're delighted to tell you about them. Big fella's got the details here. We've posted on the website. It's a note for, di- for your diaries because it's not for another, another month. The 23rd to the 27th of July right. is when it is. It's their first festival because they've only been open. They've in described about it as the Summer Nights Festival. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Uh, Wednesday through to Sunday. The Wednesday starting with a hundred pound freeze down to eight pm, which okay. uh, incorporates just about every everybody. Do you know if these one day events? They are all. Them? They're all one day events apart from the main, the main event. event. Okay. Thursday is a fifty pound freeze out. Uh, Friday is a £50 rebuy for all you gamblers down at Rams. <laughs> uh, and Saturday is the start of day of, from st- the start of the main event with day one. The, the main event starts at 3pm, where the, whereas all the side events start at 8. Right so you uh, okay. obviously need to check that out. And it's a two day event. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's only £250. So, oh, fingers, so right. fingers crossed, it that's will okay. be full. It's a 120 seater card room. So that's the max. It, so we're looking at two at uh, a two day, so it's 120 maximum field, and the final finishing at 7 p uh, at 2 p.m. starting at on p.m. Sunday for the uh, right, for, for the, the main event for the main event. Uh, the guys that have made it through, and then they've got a wee journey on uh, 50 pound rebuy. I like that idea. 50, yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 pound plus one add on or one rebuy. Top up, yeah. which means maximum we can spend is 100 pounds. Yeah. So you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Turn it into a nice, right, nice little schedule, that. Mm. Very good. So well done, Thanet. Rammers. Uh, Rammers, sorry. <laughs> Rammers of Thanet, or whatever you want to be. That's uh, G Casino. Yep. Uh, Grosvenor. So um, that's something to look forward to mm. down there for you, Southern lads. Yep. But we're going to finish the Tower News off this Tuesday, the 24th of June, with something that's happening this Friday. That All could, over. That could turn into one of the biggest events in Britain. Well, I don't know about that, but I think, I think over a period of time, mm. if if it works. Because we're talking about a link, link game, game between eight casinos. In the north of England. Great well, idea. Primarily in the north of England. Great I'm idea. Sure. What, you, what are they? Oh, you're now yeah. asking. Now you're asking. I'd, well, li- I'd like we to know that, We know that Blackpool are involved. Bolton, Salford, mm-hmm. Huddersfield, Leeds. Well, you, you, you're doing well. You're doing well. Keep going. <laughs> Walsall. <laughs> you're going well. I have to find it on the website. But, uh, yeah, the eight... But there's eight casinos involved. It's eight, right? And it's a £150 freeze out, and it's this Friday. Mm. Friday coming, uh, which is the 28th, correct me if I'm wrong, or the 24th, 25th, 26th, 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 yeah, 28th. Yep. Um, and the, the f- final is a week after. The week after. The, week the after. final, right, is in the G in Blackpool. We, yes. So uh, there's individual tournaments this Friday in all of the eight casinos. Uh, Big Fella's just finding the list now, which we'll, uh, trying. Which we'll give you. I am trying. Um, and then uh, I think it's one in seven qualify for the final. For so for every seven entries each casino gets, they have one will qualify into the final at the G Casino in Blackpool the following weekend. Mm-hmm. So if you get fifty runners, you get seven entries, seven nines, mm. seven sevens. So one hundred and fifty pounds per person. Yes, this could end up. A fantastic price. Well, we were talking about it last week, and if each casino got 50 runners, in his, as an example, we're going to end up with a price pool of £60,000. Mm. I mean, it's a chunk of money. It certainly is. Um, but I think more importantly is that if uh, it takes off and you look at the potential of running a national link game yeah. along similar lines, mm. you could end up absolutely enormous price pools. Yeah. Absolutely not. Well, unfortunately, sir, I cannot find it on the website, Useless. but it is definitely there. Useless. But uh, we'll give you the list on Friday. We will. That's what we'll do. Definitely do. Right. right. Um, but that's this Friday. Mm-hmm. So um, the, the, there's information on the website about it. Yeah. He can't find it. I can't, but it is there. So God help you. <laughs> it is there. Um, 
So there we are, Bristol WSOP, uh, Thanet, uh, Summer Nights Festival, and the Link Game uh, coming up this Friday. Um, in the meantime, get into your casino and play some poker, and we will see you on Friday. See you Fridays. Be good. Thank you.